Welcome back everyone. This is Kylie the Curly Crafter and Father's Day is in just a couple of days so I decided I would do a super quick and easy and affordable DIY project for your father this Father's Day. I also picked up a few candies that he really likes and I'm excited to show you how it turned out and let's get started. Because Father's Day is literally right around the corner, I decided to make a quick, easy, and affordable DIY project for my dad for Father's Day. So I'm going to be designing mine on the Cricut website. You can also do it for Easter, Christmas, Mother's Day, and Father's Day. But for reference, I'm going to click the shapes icon and then I'm going to find a rectangle. This is just going to be an outline of the shape of my frame. Because it is a 5x7, I rotated my rectangle and at the top here I unlocked it, then changed my width to 5 and my height to 7. Because this will be a picture frame, again I'm going to go in shapes, but this time for reference I'm going to get the square, and then I'm going to change the color to white just so I can see a contrast, and then I'm going to place it on my shape here just so I can see about the amount of space that I will need on my picture frame to take for the photo and what else I have to design. So now I took the text, I changed it white, and then on this text I'm going to say I love you daddy, and then place it underneath where my photo will go. You can just play around to the saying and the sizes that you like, and then I went up here in the corner and pressed on the font. They have plenty of free options for font, or if you get the subscription, you will get a ton of more options. But I just went through them and decided on finding a font that I really liked, and I chose this one. It's really nice. And then I also decided to do another text because I'm going to need to put the name of a song and the songwriter. So there's this one song that my dad and I both think about. I really used to sing this song a lot with him and it is Luke Bryan, That's My Kind of Night. So what I'm going to do is for memories, I'm just going to find a text, a font, and then right here I'm going to put in the name of my song. You can choose any song that you would like or something that resonates with you and your father. After playing around with my sizing, I changed my font to Arial, and then that's what I did for the title. And then after you have your title figured out how you would like it, you're also going to do another text and have to figure out the person who wrote your song. The artist for the song That's My Kind of Night is by Luke Bryan, so then I put Luke Bryan and position that right under the title of the song. So now I'm going to go into images and then I typed in song plaque. I found this one which normally you'd have to pay for but because I am subscribed I got it for free. It shouldn't be too expensive though so what I'm going to do is click on it and add it to my canvas. So if you see it already has a black box but I don't want that there so I'm going to move it to the side. I'm going to change it to white but how to get rid of the box is actually super simple. I'm going to go into shapes, grab a square and then put the square over the part that I do not want. Then I'm going to select both of them at the same time and select slice. Then you will have a separate piece that you need. And then I just placed it underneath the song and I love how the design came out. Now what you're going to do is just delete everything that you don't need, leaving only the words. After you have everything deleted, I decided to attach it, so right click press attach and then it's actually going to be black so I changed the color to black and then again right click and before printing it press weld. Once you are done designing go to the top right corner press make it and then follow all the instructions that the Cricut website gives you. So now I'm just going to load in my vinyl. I decided to use the Cricut vinyl premium in removable black. I really liked it how it came out, so now I'm just going to follow the steps and print out my vinyl. So 
So now that it is all cut, I just remove the mat from the back piece of my black vinyl. Then I cut out the only piece that was cut on my vinyl so I don't waste anything. And then I started to peel off the black, leaving the words on the piece of the white. So only peel off what you do not want your sign to say. So after you have that piece peeled off, there's going to be parts that you do not want, like in the center of the play button or in between words. So then you take this tool called the Weeding Tool by Cricut, and then it just removes all of the pieces that you do not want on your sign. This is how mine came out and I really like it and I'm super excited to make a sign out of it. They sell these acrylic plaques on Amazon but they're pretty expensive and normally you have to buy them in bulk but they had this acrylic stand photo frame that is a 5x7 at Dollar Tree. They also have a bunch of different size options so what I did is I just removed the photo and started to peel off the protection plastic. Once your vinyl and your frame is ready, what you need to do is take some transfer tape and then place it over your vinyl decal. Once you have the transfer tape on, take a squeegee or anything to press and attach the vinyl to the transfer tape and just rub that over it just to make sure it is completely sealed on. And then once you have everything secure on your transfer tape, then you can peel up the transfer tape taking the vinyl along with it. Once you have the vinyl off the backing and on the transfer tape, you can then take it to your sign frame or anything that you want to add your decal onto and then you place it on and then again use your squeegee and then just transfer it onto the frame. This step was super easy and I love it so far. So now that our frame is done, now we have to choose our photo. I prefer a size of 3.5 by 3.5, but since we printed it at Walgreens, the only option was 4x4, so that's how we got our photo. Once you have your photo, it is ready to assemble your sign. This is the very last step for your DIY Father's Day gift. I just took my photo and because my frame had a backing piece that opened up, I slightly opened it up and slid my photo in, but you can easily hot glue it if you need to, maybe even tape it. Now your sign is perfectly ready and then you can just throw it in your Father's Day gift. I also decided that I would get him a few extra things. His favorite candy is Reese's and his childhood favorite is Twinkies so I definitely got that for him as well. I also decided that I wanted to package it nice so I got some white tissue paper and also from Dollar Tree I got this pack of two brown paper bags. I also really like this card. It says, for your dad from your daughter, if I was rich, I'd buy you an expensive gift. If I was a poet, I'd write you a poem. If I was a musician, I would write you a song, but I'm not. I'm a good shopper, so I bought you a card, and I love it so, so, so much. I just filled it out with a nice Father's Day note, and I really like it. And then all I had to do was close up the card, add it in the envelope, put all the candies and the gift inside of the paper bag, and then it was ready for my dad on Father's Day.
I hope you guys like my DIY Father's Day acrylic plaque and I love it so 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 much and I hope that he will too. So if you guys like this idea give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below. I have a bunch more craft videos coming your way, especially some more fake bakes. So stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching and bye everyone!